Hello and welcome back. So I feel like we should start working with actual data, which is why I need you to install MongoDB, all right? So unfortunately, right now I only have one OS on my machine, all right? I don't have access to Windows or Mac, I only have Ubuntu here. But the installation for this is pretty simple. Right now I have this page, open which is an installation instruction for windows users the link for this one is going to be down in the description all right it's pretty simple for windows just like with everything in windows all you have to do is grab the installer and the installer is right here all right so all you have to do is download the installer make sure you choose 64 bit all right and then you can simply click next next and finish all right and by the way, before you finish, you want to take a look at this. Yeah, so this is the screen you will get, right? And trust me when I say you want to check this box that says install MongoD as a service, all right? Installing MongoD as a service allows you to run MongoDB in the background, okay? Which is what you always want. Because if you don't check this, then... You, every time you want to use MongoDB, you have to start it and then leave that terminal window open, all right? So you don't want that. You want to check this. Make sure that you can run MongoDB in the background, all right? So once you have that, you can simply click next, 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 and finish, all right? Simple enough. So after you have all of this, you should be ready to go, okay? For Mac users, this is the installation instructions for Mac users. Again, this link is going to be down in the description, all right? So the easiest way to get this for Mac users is to use Homebrew. So I don't know, right now I don't have a Mac, but to use Homebrew, if you don't already have it, then you have to download Xcode from the App Store, right? And then head over to the Homebrew website, I think it's homebrew.org was dot com before homebrew.org I think and then just grab their script okay it's a pretty small script add it to your path and then you can simply brew install mongodb all right it's pretty simple it is yeah brew install mongodb all right after that all you have to do is create a data directory and the instructions are here all right so just copy this paste it to your terminal, run it to have this data directory. By default, this is where Mongo stores all your databases, all right? So it's in your root in data DB, all right? If you decide to install your databases somewhere else, then you have to explicitly tell Mongo where to find that database, all right? And yeah, the instructions are here. So after you have MongoDB installed, all you have to do is run MongoD, hit enter on your terminal to start MongoDB, all right? And just in case you don't want to use Homebrew, then these are the installation instructions where you have to install it manually from the tarball, all right? Simple enough. If you are on a Linux machine, right now I'm on Ubuntu, all right? So... MongoDB has a repository. All you have to do is first get the GBG key like this. All right. So copy this, paste it on your terminal, hit enter, and then make a list for Mongo. And finally, just sudo apt install dash y mongodb dash org. All right. And by this, you will also have the data directory created for you where you store your databases. And again, it's going to be on your root. But after you start Mongo, all right? So this is how you start Mongo as a service, pseudo service Mongo D start, all right? After you start Mongo, if it fails, most of the times it will fail because it cannot find the data directory. So that is because Mongo, for some reason, sometimes it fails to create that data directory, all right? So you can then go, you can simply go to your terminal, all right? 
and simply just make a directory so sudo make directory and data all right like that and this is going to be in your root folder all right after making this you sudo make directory data and db like that all right then give it the appropriate permissions with change mode or change ownership all right like that and then finally you can start mongodb again with sudo servers mongod start like that all right then enter your password okay simple enough so now that we all have mongodb installed what i need you to do is just type in mongo like that and you should get a console window like this one all right so this verifies that you have mongodb installed if you had any problems then you can ask me in the comment section and i'll try to help you as much as i can all right so control c to exit out of this so if you did have mongodb like i do where you have this console window all right then we can proceed to the next step so with this video there's going to be a link to my github repository where i'll have a folder called silver silver pos like this right and it's going to have these four files all right so what i need you to do with this is copy that directory right and copy it to your desktop okay like this right then go to your terminal all right where you have a running mongodb instance running all right and let's sim and then after that what i need you to do is simply sudo if you're on windows sudo wouldn't work so all you have to do is start uh cmd as an administrator all right then you can skip sudo and just type in mongo restore like this all right so mongo restore dash dash db actually let's just do dash d all right and silver pos okay so this is simply saying restore a database and call it silver pos all right and then after that i want you to do dash dash drop so that we install this uh database on a clean folder all right and then after that all we have to do is enter in the path to where we extracted this folder all right which is the desktop okay so just enter desktop and the folder silver pos like this all right and finally hit enter so this is going to be your result saying finish restoring this and this all right so these are the two collections we have all right so now we can go back to mongo like this all right and say use silver pos like this okay so if you get this saying switch to db silver pos then we are good to go all right so for this one i'm just going to say db dot let's just say users dot find all right like this and you should get a bunch of records like this all right so if you got this then we are officially ready to proceed with our next section all right have a great one